What's up guys, Clayford08 here today, and I'm going to be talking about entrepreneurship. I wrote an article about that today, giving the four things that you need to know when trying to start your own business. And the first thing that I talked about was um, basically networking. And what I mean by that is conversing with other people about the ideas that you have for your business. Now obviously you don't want to give away all of your tips. You don't want to talk about your entire business model because then somebody could steal that from you. So you have to be very careful with who you talk to about your actual venture. However, you need people that are going to back your business whenever it starts. So what I mean by networking is getting to know people that have similar interests to what you have. And so that requires you to go out and talk to people on social media, um, text chats, voice chats, going out into the, going out into public and meeting people at maybe trade shows, um, what, what have you. There's always an opportunity to meet new people in new industries. And so if you're trying to start your own business, that is the number one thing that you have to conquer, networking. I don't want to stress any more of what I already talked about in my, in my post today, but I wanted to go over a few statistics that I was looking at. So one of the first cool statistics that I found out is that women now make up 30, 36% more entrepreneurs than they did 10 years ago in 2007. And the United States is actually leading the way in that charge, the United States has more entrepreneurial women than any country in the world right now. Now, the United States is not one of the largest entrepreneur countries in the world, so that's actually a really awesome statistic, seeing that women are starting to lead the charge in this. Now, of, <clears throat> of all the people in the world, only one out of 18 are entrepreneurs. So one out of every 18 people in the world are entrepreneurs. 1%, less than 1% of those people come from rich families. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that anybody can be an entrepreneur. You don't have to come from a wealthy background. You don't have to have incredible capital to start out your venture. Now, if you don't have capital to start your venture, you're going to need to get that. And I talked about that in my post. I want to kind of go a little bit more in depth about that aspect. And the best way to seek capital for a brand new business is actually from friends and family. And there are two ways that you can go about that. But you need to be very careful about how you do so. So the first way is you can get a loan from a friend or family, but you need to be very specific whenever you receive that money about asking how you need to pay that back and when it will be due. The second way is gifting. Friends and family can gift you the money to start your business and when you're talking to your friends and family about receiving that capital, you need to be very clear and concise and ask exactly what it is that they're giving to you. Because if they just give you money to start your business and there's no expectation as to what they get in return, they might come crawling back and asking later on for that money back. So you need to be very clear whenever you're talking to them about receiving those funds. The other way is obviously getting credit and you can take out a loan or get a credit business line. I, I highly encourage against going away from that because it, there is a 90, well closer to 80% now, there's an 80% chance that 
your startup, if you do a startup, will fail. And so you need to be able to take on that risk. And you can lower the risk if you don't take out a loan and just start from scratch. So I highly encourage against getting a loan or a business line of credit. But if you have to do so and you have a really great idea and other people think that you have a really great idea, then it might be beneficial for you to do that. That's really based on your perception and nobody else can tell you what to do in that aspect. So that's going to be based on your situation and your perception of the situation. So um, that's one way that you can gain capital as well. And then the third way that you can gain capital is actually through venture capitalists. You know, people that want a stake in your company will offer you money and lend you money so that they can have stake in your company. But I encourage against that as well because you give up part ownership of your company whenever you do that. And you can't make all of your own decisions anymore at that point because other people own the business as well. And it's not just yours anymore. Now, again, you'll have to decide if that's something that's right for you. If you're okay with relinquishing part of the business to others so that you can gain the capital that you need, that's really based on you. But that's the third way that you can gain capital for for starting your business. That's really all I wanted to talk about for, for that. Um, there are a couple other things that I really wanted to stress though. When it comes to starting your own business, like I've been trying to start mine for the past few months, it takes a lot more dedication than just going to a day-to-day -day job. If you work nine to five every day, you're working 40 to 50 hours a week. That's, that's full time, but most people that start their own business are working 70 to 90 hours a week just so that they can get their business off of the ground. And, you know, that's pretty normal for a startup. And you need to be ready to take on that kind of responsibility. With me currently, I've been working my full-time job, and whenever I get home from my full-time job, I've been working to start this business. And so I've been taking on that kind of responsibility every day, but it's not for everybody. Not everybody would be willing to do that, and that's completely understandable. It takes a very, very entrepreneurial spirit to to want to take on that kind of responsibility. So you need to be ready for that if you do decide to start your own business. But it can be so rewarding. I was speaking to a gentleman last week that was saying, you know, when he goes to his son's soccer uh, practices, he is the only parent there. And then the rest of the people there are grandparents. So. That's one aspect that you can think about, you know, if, if you're a young person and you're not even thinking about starting kids, that really doesn't apply to you. But maybe if you start your business now and later on want to have kids, by that time, your business should already be succeeding and you, you won't have to be working as many hours anyways. So that could be a really great aspect for you. But for those of you that do have children or are thinking about having children in the in the near present, then that might be a really appealing thought to you. For me, I know eventually my wife and I are going to be having kids and I want to be able to, I want to be able to spend time with them and I want to be able to do that during the day on my terms. And so becoming my own boss has always been a dream of mine. But Again, it's not for everybody because I know that even if I do get to experience those, those life's greatest gifts, you know, I still am going to have to bust my butt directly after that, making sure that my business is still running properly. So it's all in responsibility on yourself. And at the same time, you don't have anybody telling you 
the things that need to be done on a day-to-day -day basis. You have to decide what gets done on that specific day. And so if you're not responsible in that aspect, then maybe owning a business isn't right for you. If, if you go to work and have to be told exactly what needs to be done every single day, then maybe owning a business isn't right for you. So these are all things that you have to think about when starting your own business. I'm going to continue making these videos about entrepreneurship and what it takes to own a business as I grow my business because this is really exciting for me to talk about. Last week I got to meet a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of business owners, and a lot of people that want to start their own businesses. I got to meet quite a few of them last week. and. We got to talk and network with one another, and it was a really great experience for me. And I, I love talking about these things with these people, but I think I'm going to continue making these videos and encouraging those that would like to start their own business to do so. So if this helped anybody that is thinking about starting their own business, or if it dissuade you because you don't want to take on those types of responsibilities, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, you can join our Discord server and talk about your personal experiences. If you are an entrepreneur, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what your business model is and what it is that you do. That's going to be it for today, though. Clayford08.